a, b and c are the point 3, minus 5, minus 1, 3 and minus 4, 9 respectively. Write down the position vector of each point. Find the vectors a, b and a, c and show that the points are collinear, i.e. they lie in a straight line. So, if we're writing down the position vector relative to the origin, then o, a will be 3, minus 4, that's the point a. For the point B, it will be OB, which is minus 1, 3, so we just, and OC is minus 4, 9. Or you can write them as 3i minus 5j, if you want to use that notation. Then it says find the vectors AB and AC. So AB is like doing AO plus OB. We start with A here and we end with B here. So we go back to the origin and then from the origin out to the next vector. So if we're going back to the origin, then AO is like doing minus 3 plus 5. And then OB, you write down exactly the same way, minus 1, 3. And then you work out minus 3 times minus 1, which is minus 4. 5 plus 3, which makes 8. So we've got minus 4, 8. Now you could write that as 4. Uh, take the, uh, minus 1, 2. And then for AC, that's the same as going AO plus OC. So the same, we're going against this vector here. So that will become th minus 3 plus 5. So you change the signs. Plus minus 4, 9. And then minus 3 plus minus 4 gives me minus 7. And then 5 plus 9 gives me uh, 14. Now you could write that as 7 minus 1, Two. Right, in, for part C we've got to show that they are collinear, i.e. they lie on a straight line. So, if we write down all the information that we have so far. Okay, if we note that minus 4, 8 is the same as doing 4 over 7 of minus 7, 14. Which means that AB is 4 sevenths of AC. That means that AB is some multiple of AC. And if we got this, this is true, these two vectors are parallel. So we can say that the line segments AB and AC are parallel. But we also notice the point A is in both vectors. And so as A is a common to both lines, then the points A, B, C are collinear. So what we're, what we're basically saying is that A... B and AC are parallel, but both because they both consist the point A, then the three points must be in a straight line. Okay, this has been a video to show you how to find uh, whether points are collinear using a vector method. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.